a quick video on multi-colored pens. You know, I like fountain pens and kind of a pen geek, so to speak. And I discovered gel pens many years ago. Where are they? Let's see. In my pocket, I always carry two pens. I carry just like this regular, it's a pilot gel pen. Fine line. And then I carry this four color pen. And then also I have a high-tech Kalido. And I keep this at home. I don't carry this in my pocket. This is for when I'm taking notes. I've had these for a while. But these are fully customizable multicolor pens. You flip the top back like this, like that. And then these refillable gel inserts come in. I like the four color pens because I take notes when I do my coaching in four colors. I have blue, which is when I want to catch my attention when I'm reviewing notes. I have black, which is my normal default color. Green, when I'm speaking of money or money goals. And then red, when I underline, write stars, or something that I want to really emphasize when I look back on notes. Or if I feel that something uh, that a client says that is super important that I need to focus on, I will write it in red. So what happens is you buy the body of the, like for instance, unlike this, no, wrong one, unlike the Bic four color, which when these run out, you chuck it, you buy the body of the pen. And they, you can get these as any color. You can get them with even more than four inserts. It's nice. I keep this actually near my computer and with my notebook for when I'm taking notes at home. This does not go on the road with me. This is at my desk. So flip the top back. I like blue, black, green, and red. So let's just put in, let's just put in the blue, the red, the black, and the green. Obviously that stands for money and financial stuff. Because that's always a big part of coaching. You can see how they fit in like that. I close the top and that locks them in. When I want the red one, I just push down the red tab and the pen comes out. When I want that to retract, I just click another color and it goes back up. The Kalido, the High Tech C Kalido. And you can get these to have as many colors. I mean, they have ones that are really wide body. I like, I like the size of a four color pen, the four color. The Bic is very similar. Now with these, I've yet to find the refills for these, but you can see the one that I use the most here is the black, obviously. And these just pull out like that and they go back in as well. And this has a little loop thing at the top so you can put a cord around it and it will hang uh, like just below like your sternum. That way you can sign things and let go. You won't lose it. You can hang it around your neck. But I keep this in my pocket. This is part of my everyday carry as well as my Pilot gel pen. I like the gel. This is ballpoint pen, which means you press a little harder. If you have to write for longer periods of time, there's more stress on your hand. You just feel because you're pushing down harder. With gel, you literally, it's almost like a fountain pen in the sense that basically the weight just merely the weight of the pen is enough to prompt the ink to come out of the reservoir. What I do is I buy the five and six packs. Green, black, red, and blue. With the Kalido, when one color runs out, I just always have the colors backed up. So this is something I keep at my desk. It's a slightly more luxurious, smoother feel when you're writing. It just glides on the paper so much easier. And I do kind of like the uh, 
the 0 0.5 line. I love that, that thin line. It doesn't deposit so much ink where I do have some gel pens that are a little bit thicker, like a heavier line. And I, no I notice when I write, I always end up with ink here because it doesn't dry fast enough. When I write with the thin 0.5, it almost dries as fast as I'm going to the next word. It doesn't smear at all. And I have less inky fingers. So there you go. The uh, High Tech C Kalido. I'll put links for it down below. For the writer, the guy that still writes, the gal that still writes. I am very analog. I still write a lot. I just wrote my last book. Literally, I wrote my last book with a pen. I did not type it. My PC is right here, but I wrote it out. I just wanted to write as opposed to type on a PC. And then I'll just find someone to transcribe it for me. Just another writing solution, and it works well with field notes. These, these pens work super well with field notes, the paper and field notes. With the waterproof notes, you really have to just almost like, when you write with them, almost like fan it, fan the paper a little bit to let the ink dry. But with the regular paper field notes, these work absolutely beautiful. I'll put a link for field notes. And there is a, I don't have it with me here, but I have a, it's a little zipper pouch that I put the field notes in. It zips. I've had field notes in my pocket and then just from like the sweat that they just end up getting gnarly and the edges get weird. So I have like this little zipper thing, folio, that the field notes go in. And you can also put like any cards in there. Like if you're going out, you know, just keep a little bit of cash on you. Put it in that little folio. It's got like some pockets in it. But I will put a link for that down below as well. I've had that for four years. And it has shown zero signs of wear. It's military grade ballistic nylon zipper. It's actually perfect. You will love it. And it's a company that I've got a lot of their products. A lot of their products. Uh, for those that like military grade nylon journal covers that kind of thing zipper covers and tool rolls that type of thing and zipper like zipper bags that are going to last you for the rest of your life like you're, you're going to buy them once what do they say buy once cry once if you buy cheap you just keep buying over and over and over the stuff that i get from this one company is just going to last me and you know literally my kids will inherit it or somebody will end up getting it after I go. It will last the rest of my life. I'll put links for them down below. Make sure to check that down below. Make sure to check out my Patreon. If you want to join Patreon, that would be awesome. And uh, get the newsletter, georgebruno.com. I send out a newsletter. It's the Unstuck newsletter. I send it out every single day. It took me long enough, didn't it? But I do faithfully send it out. And my best work is my writing. It's much better than my video. And I think you'll enjoy it. it. comes out every single day. It's short, sweet, and I promise I won't waste your time. You know, when I started speaking in, geez, 1974, the traditional advice was don't talk about sex, politics, or religion. And even then, I said, well, what the hell else is there to talk about? I mean, we've just described everything everybody's interested in and everything everybody's involved in. I mean, at least 50% of the reasons why people buy everything has to do with sex. Some are either not getting it or thinking this will help you get it. I mean, that's, that's why guys take out the trash. I mean, well, I'm serious. Go to any apartment of any single guy and take a look around. It ain't like he's taking the trash out every week, you know? But, but So he takes the trash out every Friday at home. Why? There's only one reason, and it ain't that he objects to having trash. He'd just have five trash cans in there. He wouldn't have, I mean, downstairs in my personal space in my office, that's been my solution. I don't want to empty the wastebasket every three days. I got eight wastebaskets, you know? When I was single, the first thing I did when I was newly single is I went over to JCPenney and I bought 365 pair of underwear. <laughs> I mean... I ain't going to do laundry, for Christ's sake. I mean, once a year, baby. That's when we're down to 364 in the trash can in the garage. We'll do some laundry, right? I mean, 
So, so the guy, the married guy's taking the trash out for one reason and one reason only. I mean, that's it.